All right, today we're gonna ask Kearney students um, about their music, and let's see how diverse uh, music taste is at Kearney. All right. All right, Carlos, what music are you listening to? Uh, hey You by Pink Floyd. You wanna show the camera? Wow, good taste. Don't Oh, I love the neighborhood. What are you doing? Don't buy Bryson Tiller. Oh, Bryson Tiller. Also very nice. Too. Asleep by the Smiths. Oh, I love the Smiths. Gone Girl by SZA. Oh, SZA. I love SZA. Right, I'm just gonna say that every single time. <laughs> hey, what music are you listening to? Um, exactly Anna. That's what I said. Anna? Yeah. That's not a song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on? I don't know. They're filming us um, now. <laughs> I need you by Ken Carson. Oh, yeah. Ken Carson. Yeah. Hey, Alyssa, what song are you listening to? Um, I'm listening to... Uh, Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, what song are you listening to? This one. Oh, nice. You want to uh, sing a little bit for us? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. Mission Garden. Go! Oh, okay. Bro, Vincente put me on right now. So. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's see who else should be at. Oh, oh, let's ask Shalom. Hey, Shalom, what song are you listening to? I'm listening to One Dance by Drake. <gasps> One Dance, Drake, Drizzy? Oh, my king. Love that guy. Every single time. <laughs> what? Thank you, Shalom, for your time. <laughs> Mike doesn't work. <laughs> and that has been Music at Kearney. Thank you so much for joining us. Wow, what a great way to start the episode, Christian. It's always good to connect with the people a bit more. Of course, Blaze, and welcome back to the second episode of Kearney News Network. I'm Christian Santa Maria, and I'm Blaze Rice. Coming up next, we have a one on one interview with Miss Ogo of BST. And that's right, yeah. And she's going to be telling us a little bit about what her students will be doing in her biomedical classroom this year. Yes, we also put together a short video about lab safety for y'all. Whoa, really? You're not making that up? Nope, that's what Adams do. <laughs> oh my god, of course, of course. And uh, anyways, let's head on to the segment. Okay. I'm here with Miss Ogo of VST, and uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and what yeah. you do here. Hi, I'm Jennifer Ogo, and I teach in the biomedical program here at Kearney VST. I'm currently teaching biomedical innovations and medical interventions. And what will students be learning in these classes? So in the medical interventions class, it's uh, essentially biotechnology. So currently we're learning about vaccine development and antibiotic resistance. And then we'll be talking about different lab techniques that you can use to detect disease and help with uh, cures for things like cancer. Uh, that's very interesting. Uh, hopefully cancer does get cured. <laughs> and uh, what uh, kind of labs will students be doing in these classes? Um, biotechnology labs, things like ELISA or gel electrophoresis, um, DNA, recombinant DNA technology like uh, bacterial transformation, things like that. Oh, it's very interesting, mm -hmm. very interesting. And uh, what kind of safety precautions do students take before these labs? Yeah, we have to be really careful because we're working with uh, dangerous chemicals and microorganisms like bacteria. Um, so we have to be really careful, so we're going to have to tie back our hair, potentially wear a lab coat to protect yourself against uh, chemicals. You need to wear goggles if you're using anything that's sharp or glass or any chemicals or microorganisms. Potentially gloves on your hands, um, definitely clo closed-toed shoes, um, and any other extra protections depending on what we're working with. Okay, thank you. And why is it important to wear all this personal protective equipment? So it's really important to protect yourself, but also your, potentially your neighbor or your other table mates because you can injure yourself with a sharp instrument or with chemicals. Oftentimes I see students that will make a mistake and not, not necessarily injure themselves, but the person next to them. Oh, so we don't want to see any of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. And in case you guys aren't aware of the dangers without wearing safety equipment, let's take a little look at this video we made for you all. All right, so we need to add like 50 milliliters of this green one into that one, but uh... Right. Yeah, oh wait, we need to cut the paper towels first. Oh, okay, so, yeah. scissor me. Oh, okay. Ah! Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean, you told me to throw them. God! Um, um, uh, uh... Ow! Uh, Hey, I'm 
back. Oh, 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 oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. It burned. What happened? It I, burned. Oh, oh, God. oh, my other eye. You have acid in your eye. Oh, oh, you have to use the eye wash. It, oh. uh, make sure to wash for 20 minutes to get all the chemicals out of your eyes, Adam. Yeah? Yeah, I should have came in wearing goggles. I know. Make sure to wear your goggles, too. You don't want to forget them. Man, good thing we learned our lesson about wearing goggles. Right, Adam? Right. All right, well, let's continue with our lab, yeah? Yeah. How many milliliters of uh, this liquid do I have to put in? Uh, uh let me check. Right. Uh, Come on, we have to hurry up. Okay, sorry, time. just reading the yeah. instructions. Yeah. Uh, 12. 12, all right, I got you. Big thanks to Miss Ogo for that scene. Oh yeah, and uh, looks like that's about all the time we have for this week's episode. It might have been a short one, I know, but next week is going to be crazy. That's right. Homecoming weekend is approaching. That means behind the scenes a float building, homecoming football game, pep rally, and homecoming itself. Oh, calm down there, Christian. Don't tell me to calm down, Blaze. I'm sorry. It seems like a lot, but uh, Vicente Gonzalez, our sports reporter, has said that he is determined to get that interview with Brody Stump this week for you all. We'll see about that. Anyways, I'm Christian Santabria. I'm Blaze Rice. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Kearney News Network.